Hello everyone, I am Monica Bhushan and today we are starting new topic which is numerical methods. Okay, so under numerical methods in today's class, we are going to study finite differences. Okay, so what is finite differences? So here we'll say that suppose one function is there, the function is y, function is with respect to x, right? So y is fx. So what finite differences says us that as the name says that we have some instances of x, I just write down some uh, values which are my x0, x1, x2, x3 and xn, fine. And these all values are equidistant. That means the difference is whatever difference, I just write down some name as h because many books write it as h. So, so the difference between x0 and x1 is h. Similarly, the difference between x1 and x2 is also h and so on. So all values are equidistant, fine. So in that case, I can write that x1 is x0 plus h, fine. x1 is how much? This if I write down x1 is nothing but x0 plus h and then x2 is how much? x2 is x1 plus h or even I can write that x2 is x0 plus h because x1 is x0 plus h plus h. That means x0 plus 2h. Fine, fine. And then we can say that my xn is just one previous value which is xn minus 1 plus h and x0, x1, x2, x3 are values of independent variable x. Okay. So these values are called as argument. Okay. So the values of independent variable which is x in, in our case is called as argument and then corresponding functional value which are my y0, y1, y2 and so on, they are called as entry. Fine. This is my general form which is y equals fx. If I write y0, it will be my fx0. If I say that it is my y1, so this is nothing but fx1 and that is only written here. Okay. Now we are going to deal with two more terms. They are forward differences. Okay. Forward differences and the second one is called as backward differences. Okay. So as the name says, what is my forward difference? So the general form of forward difference, if I will write, this is nothing but f x plus h, okay, minus f x, fine. So why this is my forward difference? Because if x plus h is actually your right hand side, if you will see in scale. So this is f x plus h minus the previous value that is your minus f x. So this is your forward difference and we write the forward difference with this operator. This is called as forward difference operator, this triangle. So this forward difference operator fx is nothing but fx plus h minus fx. Now if I write down what is backward difference. So backward difference will be what? Just opposite direction of it. That means it will be your fx minus f x minus h right here you are writing down f x plus h because you are going to positive side here you are writing down f x minus h because you are coming to the negative side correct so f x which is greater value minus f x minus h and this is nothing but backward difference which we denote with this upside down triangle so this is backward difference operator this is f x minus f x minus h so these two formula are the general formula for forward difference and backward difference. So forward difference fx is fx plus h minus fx. So here if I will uh, write down for different values of x, that means what it will be if I'm putting fx0. So this is your fx0 is fx0 h minus fx0. Correct? No? Fine. So that again I can write as this is my y0. So I can write down that this is nothing but forward difference operator and then y0 is nothing but this is your y1. Fine no? This is your y1. So this is my y1 and minus is your y0. Similarly, if you will write here x1, that means the value is here your x1, then forward difference fx1 is if x1 plus h minus fx1, right? And in that case, what you will be writing down here? Then you will be just writing down here this forward difference operator y1 equals y2 and so on. Fine. That means you can write that del y2 is nothing but 
your y3 minus y2 and this way you can say that del yn minus 1 is nothing but yn minus yn minus 1. Similarly, we can write backward differences also. So, backward difference operator is upside down. So, this is my backward difference operator. If here only we will just change this forward difference general formula into backward difference general formula. So, what changes I need to do? I just remove this suffix. So, what I should write down here? If we are talking about backward differences, that means I have to start from the rightmost side to my initial position. That means I am starting with my xn value. So, I am writing down here backward difference fxn is nothing but so, I am writing down here xn, the rightmost side value minus fxn minus h. That means the previous value of it. Okay, so this is called as the general format of backward difference. Fine, fine. So, now what I can write here? This is my backward difference yn is my yn minus yn minus 1. Right, and similarly, I can write y n minus 1 is nothing but y n minus 1, and then y n minus 2, and then keep on going. And then we can finally say that backward difference y1 is nothing but y1 minus y0. Okay, so these things we will be seeing in the questions, then it will be more clear. Okay, so we are going to solve two questions under finite difference. So, very first question is construct a finite difference table. For the function fx, which is x cube plus x plus 1, where x takes the values 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, all those discrete values are given. Identify the leading forward and backward differences. Fine, we will be seeing that what is leading forward and backward differences. So, what they are asking? They are asking to construct a table, finite difference table. So, how to make finite difference table? For that, some function is given to us, correct? No? And the values of x, that is x0, x1, x2, given to me. So, I will put the values 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 till 6 in this equation. And then I will come to know what is my fx0, what is my fx1 till what is my fx6. Fine. And, and using those values, I am going to construct the table. So, here is the function given to us. And then we have put the values of uh, x. And then we got, this is your y0 right this is your y1 this is your y2 y3 y4 y5 and then y6 okay so here is the table so so the very first column is what this is your x right and here it is your y so x and y are written down here now this finite difference table is what we are going to find out the first difference what is my first difference just check the values of y right and you are going to see the difference between 3 minus 1 is 2. So, where should I write this 2? So, since this is difference between 3 and 1. So, write down in between 3 and 1 this value. Otherwise, the table will be very confusing. That means what I am saying that what the difference is there, right? In the difference between 3 and 1, you write down in between 3 and 1. Okay. So, the, the other column will be first difference column. So, now 11 minus 3 is my 8. So, this is 11 minus 3. This is 3 minus 1. Fine. So, I am going to write in between 11 and 3. Similarly, I am writing down. Similarly, I am writing down 31 minus 11. That is 20 until here. So, this is what? This is your 223 minus 131, which is nothing but 92. And this 92 is in between uh, these two values. Fine. No. So, this way we are writing down in our table. So, first difference column is done. Now, after that, we are going to write down second difference. Okay. So, second difference is what? Second difference is nothing but again you find the difference between what you have got in your first differences. That means 8 minus 2 and then write down in between 8 and 2. This is your 6. Okay. Similarly, 20 minus 8 you write down in between 20 and 8, this is your 12 and so on. You are finding out these all values. Fine. So, this column is for second difference, right? And we will be keep on doing it. So, again, the same thing is happening here. Same thing we are doing in the other column also. So, this is your third difference. And then we will see that the fourth difference is actually 
null. So fourth difference is actually zero. Fine. We don't have to move any further. Now we will be seeing that what is leading forward difference and what is leading backward difference. First value of all these columns, which columns starting from your first difference till your fourth difference, all first values of these columns are nothing but the leading forward difference. That means what we are saying, this two, six, six, zero, they are leading forward difference. Fine. So this first difference can be written as del y. Second difference can be written as del 2y. Okay. Third difference can be written as del 3y. Fourth difference can be written as del 4y. If we have a score for other differences also, so it will keep on going in this fashion. Right. So this 2 can be written as del y0. 6 can be written as del 2y0. 6, this 6 can be written as del 3y0. And this 0 can be written as del 4y0. Okay. Why I am writing down 0 here? Because this is the first entry of these columns. So these del y0, uh, del 2y0, del 3y0 and del 4y0, they are called as leading forward differences. Fine. And we know that the values are 2, 6, 6 and 0. Fine. Now, what is my leading backward differences? So, to get the leading backward differences, we will be considering the last values of each and every column. So, this 92, 30, 6 and 0, they are nothing but leading backward differences and how to name them since we are now considering backward differences so we are going to write them as this upside down triangle right which denotes us backward difference but here the suffix will be in y n this is your backward difference 2 y n this is your backward difference 3 y n and this is your backward difference 4 y n right and and if I write down leading backward differences, so they are nothing but backward difference yn, backward difference 2yn, backward difference 3yn and backward difference 4yn. Right? And those values are nothing but 92, 30, 6 and then 0. Okay? Fine. So this is only written here. Right. Now we are going to see the second question. So in the second question, they are asking to construct the table of differences for the following data. That means they have given you discrete values, right? Different values of this independent variable x. They are 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, fine. And then y is nothing but fx, which is 1, 1.5, 2.2, 3.1, 4.6. You are just seeing that the difference between different values of x, right, x0, x1, x2, x3, x4, the difference is same. Right now, the difference is 10. So, this 10 is only your h in this case. So, you are not saying that your y values will also be same. That is not necessary. So, this is only called as your finite difference questions. Now, they are asking to find second forward difference of f20, third forward difference of f10 and and fourth forward difference of f0 now we are going to see this is the table so this is what different values of x we have written down here they had given us they have given us 0 10 20 30 and 40 and then we have just copied the values of y that is y0 y1 y2 y3 y4 so right so this only we are talking about if it is your x0 so this is nothing but your function x0 right this is your function x1 and function x0 is your nothing but your y0 function x1 is nothing your y1 this is your y2 y3 and y4 okay so the same thing we have written here till here now we are going to see what is the first forward difference so first forward difference is the difference between y1 minus y2 fine no so this is what this is your 1.5 minus 1, which is my 0.5 and I am writing down in between these two values. Similarly, what is my first difference between y2 and y1? So, first forward difference between y2 and y1 is my delta y1, which is 
2.2 minus 1.5 which is 0.7 similarly first forward difference of y2 3.1 minus 2.2 and first forward difference between y4 and y3 is nothing but this is your 1.5 okay fine so now first forward difference is done second forward difference is what second forward difference is difference between first forward differences okay the difference between 0.7 minus 0.5 this is your point 2 similarly the difference between 0.0.9 minus 0.7 is 0.2 and similarly difference between 1.5 minus 0.9 is 0.6 fine similarly we are finding out difference between these two values difference between these two values but be careful that whatever difference you are writing down always write the difference in between these two values okay so finally you have you are left with only these two values and you are going to find the difference whatever difference is coming now you are done with your forward difference table so this is nothing but 0.4 minus 0 which is 0.4 now we will be seeing that since our table is complete what they are asking so so here is the question they are asking forward difference to f20 so what does it mean that second difference f20 they are asking so what is my f20 so i'll see that here is the column for x equals 20 correct no so this is x equals 20 and then function x where x is 20 is nothing but your y2 fine so that means they are asking del 2 f20 is nothing but del 2 y2 okay what about my del 3 f10 if i'm writing down here del 3 f10 this is nothing but del 3 what is my f10 so 10 is here x is 10 so in that case this is my y1 so i'm writing down del 3 y1 fine now this is your del 4 y del 4 f0 so this is your del 4 f0 so i'm writing down fourth forward difference of what is my x0 if x is 0 so this is your y not so i am writing down y not right so we'll just check these values in the table and that will be our answer so what is my del 2 y2 so i am just checking my del 2 y2 is where here is my del 2 y2 and how to see this one how to do the naming so this x and y has no any problem right now this is your first entry is your x not second entry is x1 and so on similarly y not y1 y2 y3 and so on this is your first forward difference and again the same thing you are writing down this is your y not y1 y2 y3 you just see first column this is x not x1 x2 and so on second column is for y y not y1 y2 and so on third column is for your first forward difference right so this is your del y not del y1 del y2 del y3 similarly this is your second forward difference so same name is there so always you are writing down y not y1 y2 everywhere in all your columns you are writing down the same name position also you are taking care of fine no now i have to search del 2 y not i have to search del 3 y1 and then i have to search del uh, del 4 okay del 4 y not so del 2 y not we have got that means this is nothing but my uh, 0.6 what is my del 3 y1 del 3 is your third forward difference so del 3 y1 y1 is here so that means the answer is 0.4 del 4 y0 del 4 that means my fourth forward difference and then y0 so my answer is 0.4 so this way we read difference table and then yeah the same value we also have got fine so in the next class we are going to start interpolation If you find this class useful please like and subscribe my channel thank you